Tonight marks 69 years ago to the day that the case known as the biggest murder trial in the world began. The case against a group of 22 Nazi leaders accused of crimes against humanity. And the chief prosecutor of that case is the last surviving prosecutor of the Nuremberg trials, and he is a South Florida resident. And at 96, he is still going strong. Local 10's Glenda Milberg spent some time with Ben Ferenz and has this special assignment report. My family fled persecution and poverty in Transylvania. Came to New York, poor immigrants, no money, no language. Home for the moment is Delray Beach. Some neighbors don't even realize the legal legend among them. So, uh, in order to occupy my time, instead of getting bored, I try to save the world. In some ways, Ben Ferenz already has. This bottom picture is the actual Nuremberg courtroom. Even seven decades after, Ferenz remembers in vivid detail the 22 Nazi officers he prosecuted during the international military tribunals now collectively known as the Nuremberg trials. He was 27 years old. I had never tried a case before. I'd never been in a criminal court before. <laughs> chief prosecutor in what's been called the biggest murder trial in human history. Do you remember your opening statement at all? I made it all, yes I do. I called it, it was a plea of humanity to law. The case we present is a plea of humanity to law. The right of all people to live in peace and dignity regardless of their race or creed. Ferenz had come to that courtroom, Harvard Law School educated, with a war crime specialty, then battle-worn, a private in General George Patton's army as it prepared to push into Nazi territory. But I was assigned to go into the concentration camps as they were being liberated. The horrors of the camps can hardly be understood or felt by someone who was not there. The crematory was still going, the bones packed in front had been human beings were waiting to be burned. Do you feel it still? I have never ceased to feel it. The Nazi death squad's efficient documentation of their human extermination would become Ferenz's evidence against them at Nuremberg. 22 defendants guilty. Death by hanging, death by hanging, death by hanging. 13 of them, death by hanging. Ferenz's rooms are filled with books, his writings, his human rights awards. Materially, he lives a modest life. My shoes cost five dollars. Oh, what else? What year? Oh, several years ago. <laughs> This is format. More telling is the letter of gratitude for his million dollar donation to the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. The world has not learned the lessons. It's happening as we speak all over the world. At 96 years young, Ferenz is still on a mission. Three simple words will change the world. Law, not war. Working to replace war and conflict with an international legal system. A global thinker, legal giant, and we learn, still a regular at the gym. All right, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still One, taking on two, the challenge, three, be it push-ups or peace and human rights, with strength, right. grace, and good humor. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> <laughs> He was such a good sport, really a fascinating guy and fascinating work. And he's got his own website, so if you want to learn more about what Ben does right now for peace and human rights, just log on to Local10.com and we'll take you there. I'm Glenna Milberg, Local 10 News.